Morning friends, one of the major problem that has been faced by the people globally is uh, chronic renal failure or end stage uh, renal disease. Uh, the problem starts uh, because of many reasons. Chronic means it, the disease is uh, continuing for a good period of time in the patient. Uh, end stage renal disease means now the kidney has stopped functioning uh, uh, properly. Role of kidney is to filter out the toxins from the body. At the same time, it also maintains and uh, uh, keeps an equilibrium on the electrolyte levels like sodium, potassium, phosphorus, etc. Second important function of kidney is uh, uh, producing the erythropoietin, uh, which uh, acts on the uh, RBCs. So, maturation of RBC requires uh, erythropoietin, which is produced by the uh, normal healthy adult kidney. Uh, if a person is having a kidney problem, he may be having low on uh, he may be low on the hemoglobin uh, part. Uh, the toxins are not being filtered out properly uh, because of the kidney not functioning. So uh, the uh, moment a person is diagnosed with the end stage renal disease, they have to undergo hemodialysis. Now hemodialysis is done through the machines where they take out the toxins through the help of uh, this machine. Uh, but erythropoietin supplementation has to be given from outside for the rise in the hemoglobin and the electrolyte balance has to be taken care of. Now once a person uh, uh, has this chronic renal failure or uh, uh, end stage renal disease, they have to start on dialysis and the second part is, but dialysis is not a solution for this uh, disease. The actual uh, cure for this disease is a renal transplant or kidney transplant. Now, as the awareness and availability of the organ donations post death are still in a very nascent stage, kidney from the deceased donor are not readily available and the patient suffering from the end stage renal disease require a kidney transplant from a uh, relative uh, or a live donor. Now, who could be the live donor for a uh, kidney uh, transplant requiring person? In any blood relative could be a live donor. The only thing that need to be considered, the person should be between the age group of 18 to 45 and he should be free from all the diseases like he should not have diabetes or hypertension problem. The two major reasons why the kidney function goes bad are hypertension, uncontrolled hypertension and uncontrolled blood sugar, uncontrolled diabetes. So they are the two major reasons. 90% of the cases the kidney goes bad because of these reasons. There are other reasons as well involved for kidney going bad. So uh, nowadays, because of the advent of the newer immunosuppressive medicines like tacrolimus and all that, the success rate of a kidney transplant surgery is almost 95%. If we select the right donor and the patient re actually requires a kidney transplant through the initial screening, we come to know that the kidney transplant will be successful in this person. The success rate is almost more than 95% for a kidney transplant. Uh, Usually the package in India at many of the hospital is $14,000 or $13,000 up to $15,000 for a kidney transplant. It depends. That package includes 3 days stay or four, 5 days stay for the donor in the hospital and almost uh, 10 days stay for the recipient in the hospital. Uh, the kidney transplant surgery and the immunosuppressive medicines. Now there are two immunosuppressive injections that are required. They almost cost $3,000. So if we add that to the uh, a package of 13,000 or 14,000 US dollar uh, the thing uh, should be something around 15,000 dollar we can finish off everything for a kidney transplant patient if no complication develops and the patient is discharged from the hospital within the time frame now this in this package we are giving 12 dialysis free of cost for the patient the once the patient comes to India with all the documentation and everything that we advise the patient before they start from their country uh, they have to undergo a uh, uh, government of india appointed organ transplant committee uh, after this when the approval is given for the organ transplant committee uh, we the date of the surgery is given but before the organ transplant committee the patient and the donor has to undergo a battery of tests to assess the feasibility of the kidney transplant that kidney transplant will be beneficial for the uh, recipient and whether the donor is fit enough to donate the kidney without having any adverse effect of kidney donation on his personal life. As per the government ruling, only a blood related donor can be a live donor for a kidney transplant requiring patient.
what happens to a donor once he donates a kidney he lives a perfectly normal life we are having numerous patients who have uh, donated for their uh, close family relatives and they are living a perfectly normal life post the donation something which is bad for the two kidney it is uh, bad for the person who is having one kidney post the donation <coughs> so sorry so all these people who have donated the kidney they have to take care that they don't have a lifestyle which can push them towards having diabetes or uh, high blood pressure if they take good care of themselves they will be living a perfectly normal life post the kidney donation the recipient in the meantime <coughs> sorry will be taking the uh, immunosuppressant medicine for uh, this kidney uh, new kidney graft uh, to prevent the new kidney graft to be rejected by the body itself and uh, we have many patient now more than 27 uh, kidney transplant patient that we have taken care of they are all doing very well and uh, they are taking their medicines in time these medicine they are their lifeline because the moment they uh, stop the medicine there is a chance of rejection of the newly grafted kidney so they have to keep on taking this medicine keep on doing their tacrolimus levels and sending the report to us so that we can inquire from the doctor what will be the right dose for them for this tacrolimus or the immunosuppressive medications so if they keep on taking the medicines in time the donor and the recipient they live a perfectly normal life post the kidney donation uh, please remember friends that for a live donation a live donor kidney transplant the donor has to be a family member a blood relative anybody promising you that they can do a kidney transplant with a non related uh, donor uh, they may waste your money because practically it is not possible here it is against the uh, legal uh, uh, guidelines by the government of india that donor has to be a, a blood relative so only those people who have a, a donor which is a blood relative they can have a successful kidney transplant thank you very much friends